A lot of people have been asking me how to get better aim in Valorant, so I figured that I'd make a quick video on it today. Hi guys, this is Egwick, and today I'm going to talk about the most common aiming mistake and how to fix it. You'll learn how to aim better and hold angles more consistently in Valorant. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more quality Valorant content in the future. Now let's get into it. Before talking about aim, I'm going to assume that you have your sensitivity down. There are a lot of other resources that cover how low or high your sense should be, but as long as you're comfortable with it and it's not too fast, then you should be good. When people talk about having great aim, they're generally talking about two things even if they don't realize it. And they are crosshair placement and mechanical skill. Now, there's also the topic of recoil control, but I'm going to leave that out of this video for now. These two factors are what constitutes good aim, and will be the difference in whether you're getting kills or getting killed. Both factors are essential for consistency, and you can't use one factor to compensate for the other if you truly want to improve. I'm going to be upfront and say that building mechanical skill aka your flicks, tracking, and reaction speed, is a lot harder than having good crosshair placement. Simply put, crosshair placement is knowing where head level is, and anticipating where an enemy will pop out. Since Valorant is a game of headshots, you should be aiming for the head in most situations. Having good crosshair placement eliminates the need to flick to your target, making it a point and click situation. This will make your aim more consistent over time, because you don't need to perform high accuracy mechanics in order to be effective. If you're just starting out, I have a bunch of other videos that show where head level is on certain parts of the map, so you're going to want to check that out. Link's gonna be in the description. But today, I'm going to discuss one of the most common mistakes that players make, especially in lower ranks. And that is overestimating their own mechanical skill. Since good aim is a combination of two factors, you're going to want to hold an angle that your mechanical skill can keep up with. What I see in a lot of lower ranked players is that they love to hold an angle too tight. The problem is that, while in theory, their crosshair placement is great because they're holding it at head level, their mechanical skill, in this case their reaction time, can't keep up with their crosshair placement. This also doesn't factor in the fact that your crosshair placement won't be perfect each time. So by holding an angle too tight, you're going to have to react faster and you're going to make adjustments along the way in case your crosshair placement isn't perfect. For example, I'm holding this very tight angle anticipating the Reyna to peak at the same time. If I'm not confident in my reaction time, I should be holding an angle that caters to my mechanical skill better. It's a very tight window to react to the visual stimuli, but I'm able to kill the Reyna because I myself know how fast I can react to something. You need to know the limits of your mechanical skill and adapt your play accordingly. If you're unsure, holding the angle a little wider might be better to give yourself some time to react to someone popping out of nowhere. You'll see that a lot of pro players tend to leave a gap between their crosshair and the wall to compensate for reaction time. It's very hard to hold close to the wall because you're going to have to react almost instantly. So if pro players give themselves space, then I think you should too. A lot of players already have the right idea, but don't have the mechanics to keep up with it. So get to know yourself and your own skill level and try not to overestimate. In terms of improving crosshair placement and mechanical skill, the way I improved was through spamming deathmatch. In deathmatch, I was able to familiarize myself with head level on different parts of the map and improve my mechanical skill because I had to constantly move my mouse around due to the sheer amount of enemies present. This is a good way to practice both your crosshair placement and mechanics, so I highly suggest DMing for at least 15 minutes a day. Now, good crosshair placement is something that you get used to over time. The more familiar you are with the map, the better your crosshair placement will be. So my only suggestion is to practice more, and of course, you can speed up having good crosshair placement using natural markers. But crosshair placement can only get you so far, and this is where your mechanical skill needs to improve. This one's a bit tricky because everyone has different ways of improving, so I'm just going to tell you how I improved. 
I started playing FPS games on PC only about a year ago since I switched over from console, so my aim probably isn't as good as the other people in my rank. However, I've found that going into the range for at least 15 minutes a day helped improve my mechanics a lot. For flicks, I suggest that you do the challenge mode on hard difficulty. This will not only train how fast and accurate your flicks are, but will also improve your reaction time as well. One thing I've learned is that you shouldn't grip your mouse too tight. If your fingers are tense, then it makes it harder to flick accurately and you will strain your hand more. For tracking, you can opt to have the bots on strafe mode and just follow them with your crosshair without shooting. Try to be as accurate as possible as this will help you get used to how the other players move. You don't have to go into the range for long periods of time, but daily repetition really helps a lot. Honestly, the best way to train is to just play more. I'm a firm believer that you don't need external programs to play well, and I've hit Immortal without them. But if you do want to use them, then feel free. Just make sure that you're using the same sensitivity as your sense in-game so that you build muscle memory. Anyway, that's it for now. If you guys have any comments or suggestions on how you've improved your aim, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. This is Egwick, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.